<laughs> okay, this actually doesn't deal any damage, so I probably should leave. <laughs> Um, I'm not actually going to use that hammer because it's not a faith-based weapon and I don't want to make it one. I mean, technically we could use it, but I've got something different in mind. I'm trying to think of a... oh. We got a shield. Let's equip that puppy. Now we can block arrows. That's good shit. I almost died to that boss. I was at like half health before I went to that fire. Oh, I think I got a weapon, finally. One that I can actually use. We're just gonna block this guy's attack and beat him up. Yeah. Get beaten up, kiddo. That's definitely a scary boss. I think he came from way up there. Something. Alrighty. And it looks like... Yeah, that's definitely a boulder. Breaks this wall, and in here is the guy who gave us the key to get out. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll oh. die soon. Then lose my sanity. It's really sad. something of you. You and I, we both are dead. Hear me out, will you? I have nothing better to do. Regrettably. Oh, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family: "Thou who art undead art chosen." Really? In thine exodus from the undead asylum, make a pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, faith, faith for the undead Dead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. Oh, one, one more thing. Here, take this. He's getting really close to dying. An Estus flask. An undead faith. faith. Yeah, oh, cool. And, and I got the keys no, to get I out. I would hate to harm you after death. And thank you. Uh, so he's gonna die, and that'll make him a psychopath, undead guy. Um. But yeah, that's uh, that's really creepy. Um, that his family just has that weird. Oh, and he died. Um, why does his family have that weird, like, proverb thing, like, so specific to me? <laughs> I could leave right now, but, uh, I'm just gonna go kill a couple extra guys for funsies. Show you what the rest of the, uh, the starting area is like if you don't kill that guy right off the bat. Oh, archer. And jump attack! Got him. Broken straights. Ow, that guy shot me. What am I doing? I can block his attack. Bam. And jump attack. Normally you come up here and stab that guy in the face, but seeing as how uh, I just could kill him without doing that. Bring it on. I think I have a... No, I don't have a... I... Wish I had a long sword compared to the sword I'm using. Got him. Undead hollow. I uh, wish I had a uh, a long sword. I prefer the uh, the lunging attacks that that it has on it. Comparison to the ones you uh, you get with the broad sword. And there we go. Open the door and we're out of here. Probably won't be the last time we're here. We'll probably come back at some point. Wings ahead. I wonder what wings ahead means. Wings ahead. Only in the ancient oh no, who's talking to me? What do I hear voices? One day an undead shall be oh my god. I'm so chosen right now. I haven't seen these cutscenes since I played the game the first time. Because after I played it the first time, I, I skipped them all. To, the land of the ancient lords. to put this in perspective, I probably run through the entire game 20 times. 
or at least beaten it 20 times. Eh, I'd say beaten it at like eight and then uh whoa that was a wild ride um and then played through it and the majority of it at least 20 times i've made a new character at least 30 so regardless of i i played that character to its fruition i've, I've at least made that many not counting all the speed runs all right so i can level up and uh, kindle this bonfire. I don't have to kindle this one specifically because it's a hub. But now we can level up and we get to see our stats in this game. So, you know, there's a lot of stats. What we're mainly going to be focusing on is faith, uh, a little bit of strength, uh, vitality, and endurance. Those are going to be the only stats that I look at increasing. And seeing as how I'm going to have to take the long way to get the Sunlight Straight Sword and the Dragon Crest Shield. Huh. I'm trying to. Because I, I decided against getting the, uh, the Master Key, which means I, I can't just make myself really good at the very beginning of the game. Because that would require me to. Go uh, downstairs, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, you know what, I'll just... I, I'm not sure how much faith is on the uh, Sunlight Straight Sword. So you know what, I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> I'm just going to, you know, put like... Put like even points in this kind of stuff. To start out with. And then we'll, uh, we'll specialize later. I know I'm going to need a ton of faith. Um, so that I can throw lightning bolts at people. And it's also going to require me to help other people, so I don't know how that's going to go, but... Because I'm all about helping people out. I'm just going to kill this guy right here. Another one bites the dust. Alright. Stab that guy in the gut. Run away from the fire. Pick up this soul. Uh, who's throwing stuff at me? Okay. So we're gonna run right up here. And I don't want to fight that guy yet. He's throwing stuff at me. We'll kill this guy, though. Oh, you decided to stop being a jerk and throw bombs at me? Appreciate that. Oh. He dropped something. Firebomb. Cool. Oh, I just sort of let that guy hit me, for whatever reason. Grab this soul down here. Get as much souls as we can. Two-hand my weapon real quick for more damage. Kill this rat. Nice, one shot at him. Get some more souls. Alright. So we're going to go to the Undead Burg. This is weird trying to do a let's play um, of a game that I've played so much of. I mean, 200 hours, I've done virtually everything there is to do in the entire game. Except for beat the game as a faith-based character, which is what I'm doing now. Uh, which is why I wanted to do this let's play at all. Um, so, let's see here, he'll probably throw something at me. And so it's weird, I don't, I don't exactly know how to commentate it. Because normally Let's Players play games that they haven't, you know, done 100% of the game. <laughs> and I certainly haven't done 100%, but I've done a good 90, and I've seen the other 10% done if I haven't done it myself. So, I don't know. It's, it's, it's strange. You know, I know what everything's gonna be like that dragon I knew that was coming so it's it's really weird on how I'm supposed to commentate it I don't know if I should fake it and act like I don't know what's gonna happen or just you know act like I do know what's gonna happen but whatever the case it's not that big a deal 
I'll just be playing the game like I play the game. Oh man, that was not fun. Destructible environments are the best! This guy needs to die. Dead. Sort of waited there because I wanted to make him feel bad that he couldn't do anything to save his own life. I know, it's hardcore. Alright, and we're gonna level up because we can. And I think we'll put this one in vitality. We're just gonna sort of blanket it. I'm gonna stop getting strength at a certain point. I don't know what point that'll be. It depends on what kind of uh, weapons I'm gonna use, and I don't know what what those will be. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they'll be. Oh, I keep missing. Jump. Got him. Um, yeah, I want to use the Sunlight Straight Sword. Just because I love straight swords and it's a faith based weapon and it's pretty decent. But you know, I'm not 100%. You can make any, uh, any weapon sort of fit the uh, whole faith role. Um, but I'm not sure if I want just any old weapon. You know? I'm not sure how I want to do my faith character. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be a sword and shield kind of guy. You know, I, I honestly uh, am not certain. So we'll just keep playing. You know, see how it goes. See what's up. Oh, jerk! God. That one gave me some trouble. Ow. Somehow I hit that guy even though I hit the wall. You know. Makes sense. I trade for souls. Everything's yeah. for sale. Everything's for sale. <laughs> even his virginity. <laughs> uh, that's gross, I know. Okay, so we can get a uh, good old skimmeter. Skimmeter, a rapier, a rapel, a hand axe, a club, a reinforced club, it's just another club, a spear. I could go for, uh, for Ornstein's spear. I don't know. I don't know. Is it mine? Is it mine? I can't tell, because I don't really have a light. Has my mic been muted this entire time? <laughs> I hope it just got muted now. No, 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 no. I heard myself earlier. Has my... Has my... I can't tell, because I don't really have a light. Has... Hopefully my mic hasn't been muted this entire time. I think I'll, uh... Uh, let's just keep going. Alright. I'm not certain what type of weapon I'd like to use. The plaguing question. Probably something strength based, because I'm sort of like a rough, tough, tanky character. Um... So not really a, a dexterity type weapon, but more of a uh, strength weapon, so... Ow. That hit! Go on. Uh, yeah. Pull that up. I don't know why I'm murdering these people. I guess I'll go this way, why not? Grab a crossbow. Um, yeah, so I don't know what weapon I'll use. I really should get it in my mind what it's going to be. So that I can go get it. <laughs> and use it. Uh, and I made the jump. Cool beans. Is there anything up here in these barrels? No. Not many people go this way, so... Just wondering. 
There's a crossbow up here.